Hi everyone, welcome to Smart Kitchen Channel, where I review the latest and greatest kitchen gadgets. Today, I'm going to show you the Ninja AF101 Air Fryer, a popular and affordable air fryer that can cook crispy and healthy food with less oil. I'll tell you what I like and don't like about it, and give you my honest opinion on whether it's worth buying or not. So, let's get started. The Ninja AF101 air fryer is a sleek and compact air fryer that has a four-quart capacity, a digital display, four preset functions, and a temperature range of 105 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. It comes with a non-stick basket and a crisper plate that are both dishwasher safe and easy to clean. It also has a cord storage feature that helps you keep your countertop tidy. The air fryer uses hot air circulation to cook food evenly and quickly, with up to 75% less fat than traditional frying methods. You can use it to make a variety of dishes, such as chicken, fries, vegetables, and even desserts. You can also use it to reheat, dehydrate, or roast food. The air fryer has a one-touch control panel that lets you choose from four preset functions, air fry, roast, reheat, and dehydrate. You can also manually adjust the time and temperature settings to suit your preferences. One of the things that I like about the Ninja AF101 air fryer is that it is very easy to use and operate. You just need to plug it in, select your desired function, and press start. The air fryer will beep when it's preheated and when it's done cooking. The digital display shows you the remaining time and the current temperature. The air fryer also has a pause button that lets you check on your food or shake the basket during the cooking process. Another thing that I like about the Ninja AF101 air fryer is that it cooks food very well, with a crispy exterior and a moist interior. The food comes out hot and delicious, and you don't need to use much oil or seasoning. The air fryer can handle different types of food, from fresh to frozen, and from meat to veggies. You can also experiment with different recipes and create your own dishes. The air fryer comes with a recipe book that has 20 easy and tasty recipes that you can try. However, there are also some things that I don't like about the Ninja AF101 air fryer. One of them is that it has a smaller food capacity than some other air fryers. The four-quart basket can fit about two pounds of fries or four chicken breasts, which might not be enough for a large family or a big party. You might need to cook in batches or use a larger air fryer if you want to feed more people. Another thing that I don't like about the Ninja AF101 air fryer is that it has a limited number of presets and functions compared to some other air fryers. For example, it doesn't have a broil function, which some people might find useful for browning cheese or melting butter. It also doesn't have a keep warm function, which some people might find convenient for keeping food warm until serving. You might need to use an oven or a microwave if you want to do these things. So, is the Ninja AF101 air fryer worth buying or not? Well, it depends on what you're looking for in an air fryer. If you're looking for a simple, easy, and affordable air fryer that can cook crispy and healthy food with less oil, then the Ninja AF101 air fryer might be a good choice for you. But if you're looking for a larger, more versatile, and more durable air fryer that can do more things, then the Ninja AF101 air fryer might not be the best option for you. You might want to compare it with other air fryers and see which one suits your needs and budget better. That's it for my review of the Ninja AF101 air fryer. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Smart Kitchen channel for more kitchen gadget reviews. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.